YouTubers, this is Kat from an itty bitty homestead and today I am bringing you turkey burgers. I'm going to be making this Weight Watchers friendly. I'm not going to be cooking these today. Um, I am going to be freezer banking for future dinners and for the RV. Uh, anyway, I can do to save money and that's like minimizing how much I cook on the road uh, and what I have to buy. So um, yeah, I'm going to go wash my hands and then put some gloves on and bring you guys closer and turn you around. So don't get dizzy. Be right back. Uh, first, I thought I would show you all the ingredients that are going to go in. So here I've got my ground turkey. I'm only going to use one pound of this. This is a two and a half pound um, container. I've got some um, chopped onion. It called for uh, three fourths of a cup, but this is closer to one cup. Um, I've got some ketchup and I am using the Heinz no sugar ketchup otherwise this would be four points for the whole recipe um, which I don't want to you know I don't need the sugar so uh, I'm gonna use that I like that just fine I am rehydrating some um, green peppers and I need a fourth of a cup so that's right about at a fourth of a cup so it's perfect now oh, I'm gonna give it away now here you go you ready you want to know what we're making Jerk seasoning. Yeah, we're making jerk burgers. Jerk turkey burgers. So this is uh, one tablespoon of jerk seasoning, and this is the seasoning I'm using. It's organic. Oops, sorry. Um, Non-GMO, so uh, gluten-free, and yada, yada, yada. So, um, and then this is, uh, what is this? Half a cup of quick cook oats. Not cooked. And one large egg that I went in. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is put my bowl on my scale and um, have it on. And I don't remember what I last used. Okay, I used grams, so I don't want grams. I don't want pounds. Okay, there we go. Alright, and so I need something to open that. I need one pound of this turkey meat. Oops, where's my gloves? Here they are. I think this is going to be so, so good, but it's going to have to be one of those delayed gratifications because I am, my freezers are just brimming with stuff. I did a Sam's Club run the other day and I bought, you know, eight pound bag or something of chicken breast and chicken wings and chicken thighs. And, oh God, yeah, my freezers are bursting full. So, um, but this was in the freezer and I had to take it out to make room for the other stuff. So, all right, let's see, one pound. That's half a pound. And Let's see, where does it go to count? That's 12 ounces. What? No, it's not. You know. Okay, that's one pound, a little over. And a little over is fine. Okay, now, let me just set this guy aside. So, I've got my one pound of hamburger meat. Move my scale out of the way. Okay, now, actually still a little bit frozen in the middle. Gosh, it's been sitting in my refrigerator for two days. Okay. So let me go quickly before I dirty both hands, drain them. Okay, so um, everything's just going to get mixed in. So that is the um, green pepper that I rehydrated. Okay. And we're going to dump in our oats. Let's give this a little stir. I will go to my hands very shortly. Okay, let's put the ketchup in. And this is going to make or burgers and then I am uh, I have got a 
parchment lined um, baking sheet to uh, put them on and then put them in the freezer, let them freeze, and then I will um, write the end, uh, the end points uh, on my food saver bags and then zap them up. So this will be four dinners. Actually, when you see the points for this, maybe two. If I don't use a bun. Okay, now we're going to put in our jerk seasoning. Never tried this. I've had jerk chicken before that a friend made, all from scratch, and oh, man, was it good. So I'm hoping, um, and I tried to duplicate her recipe with her giving me the recipe, and it was awful. I, I don't know what I did wrong, but... Um, I am going to look for some, if these are good, I'm going to look for some homemade jerk seasoning recipes. And of course I'll share it with you. Okay, here goes the egg. I get my hands too too dirty I think what I'm gonna have to do is weigh these out to a quarter pound a smidge over so let me uh, bet you I could use this bowl okay Oh, forgot the onion. Oh, no. That would have been tragic. Forget the onion. Ugh. All right. Okay, so I'm not going to use the patty press because um, it it makes big burgers and these are only going to be four ounces each. Um, so that makes a quarter pound and uh, it says to make them one inch thick. So in order to get one inch thick, I got to hand shape them. So right about like that will be good. Okay, it's going right on my parchment paper. Let me turn you guys a little bit so you can see better. Sorry. Let's see. There we go. Oh, these are very rough four ounces. This one's a little over. Uh, it's okay. I may have weighed more than a pound of meat because I'm going to get more than four burgers. Oh well, math was never my strong suit, nor is this, uh, nor is this. So I do much better with recipes if I'm weighing in grams. Um, so, but I think I'm doing pretty good here. They're all looking about the same size. All right, so I will bring you back when I have all these done.
Oh, actually, you know what? I'll do it. Speed you up. All right, last one. I don't know if I'm gonna be making any more uh, tonight, only because my freezer space is extremely limited and these are gonna take a bit to freeze. So um, until I can take these out, I don't think I can fit another tray in. So, all right, so I've got a total of uh, seven quarter pounders. I did my best to make them one inch uh, thick. And now I am going to put these in the freezer. Uh, a little piece of plastic over the top. It's not plastic. It's another parchment paper. I'm going to go put these in the freezer and then um, I'll bring you back when we're going to do the next um, set of burgers and I will be actually figuring out what kind of burgers I want to make. So I may just wing it and do my own thing, but um, we'll see. In the meantime, I'll clean up. All right. We'll be back for you. I'll be a blink for me. Probably be tomorrow. <laughs> Burgers actually froze in just a couple hours, um, maybe three hours, four hours. Um, I mean, they're not solid frozen, but I think they're frozen enough that they could withstand the sealing of the food saver. So because they are raw, I am going to put my gloves on. Okay, so... I know I, uh, I'm going to see if I can wait to the end before I tell you the points for this, but I already wrote it on the bag, so, so anyway, I made myself one big bag, oops, as you can see, so I'm going to just put the burgers in here, now I will reuse this for the next batch, which I think I've decided what I'm going to do, look how easy those just come right off, you see, okay, so, I'm going to take them, 
So then uh, I took another sheet of this parchment paper and just cut uh, three strips out of each. So um, just going to do that to help it so it doesn't stick to the plastic. Probably will make it, hopefully, will make it easier to get it out when I'm ready to um, have one. I know this seems like maybe a lot of work just, you know, to make some burgers, but to me it, it is so worth it um, to spend this time, this extra time. Um, I mean, I've done it, I've done it this way for years. And, um, well, except for the, the hamburger maker is new to me and freezing them like this. Um, was just an idea I came up with today um, because I know the last batch that I did it was really kind of hard to get the parchment paper off because I wrapped them in the parchment paper then froze them oh, looks like I shorted myself one and so um, I either doubled one or I shorted myself one let's see I'm probably going to save one of these I'm going to put one of these um, aside and have it maybe for dinner tomorrow night, maybe. And then I'll just do the six of these. So, okay, um, let me set this aside. I'll be right back. YouTubers, this is Kat. Pardon me. <laughs> Greet you, then belch in your face. That's nice. 